I was sweating for this fucking haircut, man. I'm going shorter on the top and longer on the beard as the years go on. Uh, the face-off between Katie and your one Cameron there. See the, yeah, yeah the, see lead. all the belts? Lead. Mad with 10 belts there, like, isn't it? Uh, thing as well, Loma are on this weekend. Yeah, so. that's Saturday night as well. What's your predictions for that? Uh, I think Haney's too big. Like, if I had it came two years ago, it could have been different, but I just think Loma's a little bit a little bit too old now, and he's Haney's big for the weight as well, isn't he? So well, I think Loma can still do it though. Still yeah, a lot of people aren't are still uh, giving him a chance in it. You can never count Loma out. Yeah, yeah, my mate's walking me out. Uh, so I grew up in number 81. In my estate, I was number 81. He was 75. We're same age, same class in school, and all together. And he was into singing, and I was into boxing really great. And we both. Go down. We both went down them routes really great. When we both make it, you're gonna you're gonna sing me out to me big pipe. But we haven't made it yet. But um, we're get we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. So he sings Irish songs. Yeah. So he he said to me last week he'll only have to sing the first three words, and then he was like, "Crowd's gonna do it for me." Like, do you know what I mean? The atmosphere is gonna be amazing. So last few weeks trying to picture the atmosphere, and I've been to the street arena loads of times. Like, and I'm like, yeah, trying to pick a picture, but like. I don't think, I don't think you can even imagine. Like. So when did Conor McGregor fight in three minutes? That was, was that? Yeah, it was a good few years ago, wasn't it? But they do Bellators there. The MMA Bellator come and it does be a good atmosphere. Like, it's a good atmosphere, but this one's gonna be different. Like. It's gonna be different. Katie's a god here. Like, she's. I think her personality. A lot of people say about her personality. She's like she's, she's quiet and maybe it's not like not the best for selling fights sometimes, but I think with her skill set and what she's done, it just surpasses. She doesn't need to talk like, you know, some people are that good, they don't need to speak like. And I feel like that's Katie, like, you know. Chantel's not the biggest talker either, eh? It's going to be hostile for her on, on Saturday, like, but I'm sure she, of course, she's expecting it, but I think Katie will rack up a few early rounds. It will probably come into a bit of a war in the mid rounds towards the later rounds, but uh, I think Katie will do enough early on. To, to rack up the points. But Chantel's going to be bigger, she's going to be stronger. But well, I think skills pay the bills. <laughs> Felix, he's not going to be daunted by the crowd whatsoever. Like, he walked out in front of Belfast, in front of five or 10,000 people against Theron McKenna, being booed, and he, he smiled his whole way to the ring. like. So I don't think Dublin's going to phase him. Like so, he's, he'll feed off it. Well, I think if you're if you're that experienced and you're coming to Dublin and somebody's from there, you know what you're getting into. Like you know you're going to be faced with that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like he knows what. Now I think I think this year like I want to build a fan base back here and then I want to start doing my own thing in Ireland, selling out that arena myself. And then I eventually want to go over to the States then, hopefully the start of next year, and take on them names then. Like, so probably two more fights back in Ireland would be nice this year, after this, and then hit the States early 2024. Skill-wise, he's ready. The only thing is just the rounds. I've, I've, like, so. I've only fought eight rounds once. I've only went to the eight round distance once, like, so. Just that experience that you can't buy, like you can't build that in the gym, like, you know, so. Skill-wise, he's ready. Conditioning-wise, he's ready. Power, he's ready. It's just couple more rounds in the ring and then, then you know. I don't spend enough time in the ring. How long was your amateur? I had like 300 fights, amateur. Uh, six national titles, European gold medal in the European Youth 2013. And then went pro just after the 2016 Olympics, yeah, 2017, so. Amateur career was long. Hogan and Metcalf for goal points. Terry Harper and Breakhouse will go points, then he'll strike lightning, light up the arena. <laughs> and then have the place ready for Katie. That's what uh, that's the plan anyway. Definitely gonna be Katie's toughest fight. Um, I think a big thing is gonna be the weight. Like if you watch when she fought Pursoon, Pursoon came in at 131. Cameron's gonna come in at 140 and then probably but I don't know what she puts on after the fight, but if she can use that weight and if she can go early, um, but I think the key is feet. I just think I think Katie's feet are just too good. I think Cameron will get to her, but how early she gets to her. If she gets to her within the first five, it's gonna be a tough fight. But if Katie can kinda of dance for the first five, then I think she can coast a little bit clearer to end. But definitely kinda of 96, 94 points.
Yeah, so. it'll, it'll be tough, like, but... She can't help get pulled in. She just loves it. In Dublin, especially. Yeah. As a coach, you'd be going mad. Like, there's no need for that whatsoever. Like, and... That fifth round is yours. Everybody who I've spoken to who was there was like, best atmosphere I've ever witnessed. Honestly. This'll be better. And the Alicia Baumgartner is coming over, is she? Let me see the mayor's in town as well. Is she, yeah? BBC, so. no, wow. Right. Baumgartner and mayor yeah, yeah, at the same right. 5k. Do you have security? Oh, there we go. That's the good stuff, isn't it? Now I'm for you, Ernie.